Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, a question that uh, came from one of my viewers about the Activity Monitor for Windows Update and Windows 10. And what actually does these numbers mean? So, in case you didn't know, you have statistics about how your computer uploads or downloads updates on uh, your network, on the internet, and so on uh, from Microsoft and through um, and to or from other PCs that you might have on your network or on the internet, depending on the settings that you have. If you go into the Start menu, the Settings, go into Windows Update or in the Update and Security, and then you will have something called Delivery Optimization. If you go down, there's Activity Monitor. This gives you statistics of uh, upload and download of updates for different services, different uh, apps that you have. So I have, for example, in there, uh, uploads or downloads from Microsoft Office, uh, the Windows updates, and so on. And these usually are reset the first of every month. So the information you get is for the month that you are in right now. So the statistics I see here are since July 1st, 2023. Now, download statistics, it's what you are receiving for updates and where they are actually coming from. So from Microsoft directly, 98.32% of all the data for uploads, for downloads, sorry, uh, are coming from Microsoft for my updates. And it tells you that that was 3.3 gigabytes that was downloaded since the beginning of the month. Now, once again, that includes Windows updates, but it also includes any updates of Microsoft apps that you have. So if you have Microsoft Office, these updates are in there. Then it tells you from the Microsoft Cache server, says not available, so there's nothing there. From PCs on your local network, remember that when we go back a few seconds, here there was an option to uh, download from other PCs on my local network and from the internet. And I always say you better just say PCs on my local network and that's it. Because the updates will be shared within your PCs if you have more than one PC. And that will lower the amount of data downloaded. Uh, so from, my, from other PCs on my local network, 58 megabytes were transferred, 1.67%. So, in reality, the majority of my downloads that I get from um, I get from Microsoft for the Windows updates and the updates of other apps from Microsoft. It tells you also uh, average download speed. So here it says 30 megabits per second is the average download speed for the updates that I'm getting. And then you have the upload sp statistics, which are uploads that go either through the internet. Now it says not available for PCs on the internet. Why? Because once again, my switch is PCs on my local network only, not on the internet. So I'm not sending data over the internet uh, in any way. Um, and in the activity monitor, it says uploaded to PCs on your local network, which means other Windows 10 PCs that I have, 188.4 megabytes. Note that what is on your local network does not count as your download. Um, you know, if you have uh, a, a data cap, you can download more than a certain number of gigabytes per month. Local network megabytes and gigabytes do not count in there it's really just what comes from the internet that counts so in this case from microsoft 3.3 gigabytes that is what is counting as the amount of data transferred to this pc for the month of july 2023 so that will tell you how much uh the size basically of the updates you got and the uh the different things that were downloaded for update purposes so these are all the statistics that you can get on Windows 10 in the activity monitor of what you upload, what you download uh, for Windows updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.